Hey guys, um, good afternoon. Um, this is the live streamed tour of the Damselfly House right behind me. Uh, my name's Abel Zill, and uh, yeah, mainly I'm doing this for those of you that weren't able to make the, uh, the open house today. Uh, so um, one thing I want to say is please uh, feel free to ask questions. Um, you should be able to see in your, uh, on YouTube, uh, a place to make to ask questions or make comments, and uh, I will see those and I'll be able to answer them. So that was the first thing I wanted to say. Let's, um, I'll, I'll kind of start with an exterior look around. So let's um, turn you around. Um, it's a really gorgeous day. At the moment, it's been raining on and off. So if it rains too much, I'll run inside. Um, but here we go. Uh, so this house is a 10 by 24 foot a uh, tiny house that I recently built and uh, recently completed, I should say. It is available for sale right now. Um, and it's in Olympia, Washington, USA. Uh, that is also where I am right now. So um, let's just have a walk around the outside. Um, the entry door is pretty darn amazing. Um, this is a, a Zill engineered um, solid door. We use a marine plywood core and uh, a method that we've developed over the course of the last uh, 10 years to build these. So they're really stable, fairly heavy actually. Um, windows are all handmade in my shop. back away for you in just a moment. If you can't hear me for some reason, just uh, let me know and I'll do what I can. This is the um, other side of the house, which is, uh, that's a big uh, window that uh, frames the kitchen. And a bath is on the far end of the house and a main floor sleeping platform is on this end of the house. This house, uh, I know you may ask, is uh, over wide. So yeah, it tows at nearly 12 feet, which isn't really all that hard to do. Um, you get a simple over width permit and uh, that's how it works. Okay, uh, 42 asks me uh, how much am I selling it for? Um, the house is currently going for 98,500, um, which as, as my tiny houses go is, is on the upper end, but this house has a lot inside and outside and it's bigger than most of mine. So I'm gonna walk past my truck here. Just trying to give you guys a, a nice look at the outside. Here's some of the curved steps that I made, that I make. Um, these go with the house. Okay, let's have a look inside. I'm just gonna take a slow look back and forth before I get back on camera. Um, there's some um, sleeping on that end. There's an armoire in front of that. Television kitchen. Bathroom's over here. And then uh, above the bathroom there's a loft. And it's a, uh, it's, it's a, the loft is minimized to preserve overhead space in here. So, um, well, I'm going to get back in. Hey, there you are. Um, the loft is is somewhat minimized, so it's it's big enough for like a twin bed, but not more than that. Um, or it's got enough headroom that you could have like a small sit-down desk up there or a, a chair to lounge in. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty sweet space. I'll go up there in just a few minutes. Um, but let's uh, have a look at the 
the bed in here. Um, so here's a bed. Uh, this is a this bed platform is actually oh man can't even get it in the camera. Uh, it's actually a uh, full long, so it's the same length as a queen bed, a little narrower. Uh, recently though, I just put a queen mattress on it and it actually fits. You there? Okay, great. Uh, to figure out how to not get phone calls while I am on a live stream. Um, so there's storage underneath. Uh, quite a lot of room under there, so the way to use it would be to use bins. Um, and then there's a, an armoire cabinet. You can hang clothes right next to the bed. Okay, then I'm going to flip you around. Um, so again, I'll give, get you oriented. Uh, bed, armoire, some shelves uh, in the corner. Again, that little that corner could be really nice for a small office or something like a mini office. Okay, um, and then there's a television right adjacent to the across from the bed. Okay, um, reading questions. Uh, someone's asked me if I'd be willing to do a commission build where the client desired to use as much recycled materials as possible. Um, I'll answer that in a little bit. Um, that's possible. There are some limitations to using recycled materials in uh, tiny houses because of the structural requirements. So it's often difficult to use it for the structure itself. Um, yeah, you can use it on other parts. Um, this television is, uh, this comes with the house, by the way. Sorry, I got a bunch of cables hanging off of it. Uh, but it's uh, on a swivel so that you can cant it around whichever direction you want. Um, so that, that's kind of a, a nifty thing. Um, again, I've never really put a television. Oh, I, I see that my bit rate has gone way down, guys. So, um, okay, it's, it's back up. Um, sorry about the drop out there. Uh, let's get back and look at the kitchen. Sorry, the, the, the light is gonna blow out the image a little bit, but uh, on either side of the kitchen are um, high cabinets. Let's turn on the lights. Recess lighting above the kitchen. There we go. And um, all the cabinetry is handmade in our shop. It's pretty durable stuff. I have this finger finger hole design on this house um, in a copper, a double basin copper sink. Sorry, I'm moving around a little fast. Um, I'm going to slow it down so you can get a good look because the point of this was for you guys to see what this house is all about if you can't make it in person. Uh, Te Anima Tuatara asks, I'm assuming that the windows open up. Yes, most of them do. Um, here is an example. Um, all the opening windows have screens. Um, this window is a casement style. It's really not far enough back that you can see what's going on there. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of opening windows in here to get ventilation. Um, this house also has, let me give you a look, a ceiling fan. Uh, if you are interested in it and going to a, a hotter region or you're really just used to having an air conditioner, I'm willing to install air conditioning. Um, it'll cost a little extra so the equipment plus the installation costs about, I'm going to say it's about $1,850 to get a split air conditioning heating unit in this house, but that's a great Thing. So that's a great deal. Um, I'll show you the heating unit. It's a uh, convective heater. Um, it actually, we push the couch over. Normally, the couch wouldn't be right in front of it, although these don't actually generate heat on the surface. Uh, so technically, the couch wouldn't be here. But this is a convective heater. 
made by Stiebel Eltron. I've used these for years and they're very reliable. Um, a lot of people ask me what this little compartment is and it's the electrical panel. This house requires, um, well it doesn't require, but um, I have it set up for, I'm gonna try to turn myself around, 50 amp, 240 volt service, which is standard, uh, kind of the larger RV marine setup. Um, if for some reason you can't accommodate, can't get that set up, you can run it on the 30 amp, 120 volt type hookup. But this, this particular house is all electric appliances and they're very clean, um, very low maintenance. So it's kind of ideal for somebody that doesn't want to mess with propane. Um, also, it's just uh, electric appliances are very silent and low maintenance, and, and there's really not much you have to do with them. Um, the I'll talk about the appliances in just a moment. I want to get into the bathroom first. Um, so let's go around that way. Okay, so before, actually before we go in the bathroom, um, so this is fairly good sized refrigerator freezer here. For a tiny house, this is a big refrigerator and a freezer unit. Um, it's about five feet high. I'm measuring it off of myself. Behind the kitchen, sorry I'm moving a little fast, I realize, um, so. Uh, do let me know if you need to look at something in detail. Uh, behind the kitchen, there is this uh, pantry. This could also be used to store other things, but in the pantry I have uh, slide-out shelves. Uh, four of those, actually. And then just across from that are the stairs to the loft. Those also contain storage. Some of the steps uh, don't have it because there's a water heater inside of the stairs. It's accessible by removing the entire lower unit. Um, which there's some latches inside that make that possible. So the water heater's back there. Uh, you can get to it for service. And I'll get to that in a minute. There, uh, okay, let's do the bathroom. Sorry, I'm trying to get, get everything for you. Um, the bathroom is a little gloomy, there we go. I really don't have a wide enough angle lens, so I'm just gonna pan around the whole bathroom and let you look at everything. Here's a shower. This is a smooth wall um, fiberglass shower. Uh, they're extremely high quality. They kind of last forever. Um, and uh, there's a vanity and a sink. Uh, this is, a, again, it's a hammered copper finished sink and um, cabinet underneath. Cabinets kind of has docked corners so that it feels less present in the bathroom. And then this house has a flush toilet. This bathroom is a little unusual because it has two windows. Uh, so lots of air circulation in here if you wish. They both open. Just reaching under the screen to push the window open. Oops, there we go. Um, and uh, it has a medicine cabinet that has, it's recessed into the wall. Actually has a mirror on it so you can, look there, there I am. Okay, um, flush toilet, one thing I wanted to say about it, uh, this is a Kohler, they're fantastic. Uh, one thing I wanted to say is that if you wanted a composting toilet you could unbolt the flush toilet and install a composting toilet over it. You'd cover, you'd 
put a cover on the plumbing and then well you'd always have the plumbing for later but you could unbolt the toilet and put a composting toilet in okay um thanks for bearing with me uh tiger bait Com asks, how much is shipping to Louisiana? Louisiana is a ways away. Um, last time I shipped something this size that far, it was a little costly. So I'm, I'm gonna guess is something like 7,000. Um, if you were to go out on a, on a, something like you ship and get quotes, you might be able to beat that by a little bit, but that that's kind of what my standard guess would be for a house of this size. It's because it's over wide, there's some they have to get a permit for passing through various states, so it um, it makes it makes it add up a little bit. Um, so let's see. Somebody asks, uh, Ronette Harvey asks, how big is the shower? Um, this shower is uh, the shower. I'll show what I'm talking about. It is 42 inches by uh, I think it's approximately 32. So 42 by 32, and it is. Well, I'm going to stand in here. I'm getting a height of about six foot two and a half to the ceiling. So um, it's, if you're really tall, uh, I usually, I'll make tiny houses with higher loft heights. But in this case, uh, I put it at my standard for my tiny houses. Okay, um, let's talk about the loft. I also was getting notifications on my phone that my battery was low. So if I just drop completely out, that's what happened. Um, but um, so far so good. <laughs> um, so hang in there phone. Uh, so here's the stairs. Here are the stairs. Um, they're pretty easy to navigate. Um, I use a design whereby I omit a top step. Um, it actually kind of makes it a little easier to get into a lot because as you know in a tiny house, so now I'm standing on the top step. I'm right up to the ceiling. I'm about five nine and a half, five, ten. Um, so then, you know, the lo lofts, of course, are never stand up in a tiny house on wheels. Um, but now I'm, I'm kneeling in here. But there's enough room that you could, you know, have a chair up here and sit and read books. Um, but this is a loft. Let's see if I can get back out on this step and give you a look at it. It's kind of a cozy little space. Also has some recessed lighting up here. I have it turned off at the moment. Loft has the top part of this double window that opens inward for ventilation, if you like. Okay, and then I'm gonna sit in the loft and give you a, a good look at the house. So there's the entryway um, with its amazing dormer. The area where the couch is um, can be a seating area like that. Um, you could also put a dining table in there. Bed end. I left that window screen open. That's what you see sticking out right there. Um, often by window screens on hinges. Just scooting around. There's the kitchen from above. Refrigerator. There's a lot of uh, built-in cabinetry in this house, as my houses usually go. This one's got more than most. So, um, yeah, and we're we're going uh, just about to have a uh, a real open house. Uh, you know, this is a real open house, um, but it's the internet kind. Uh, but we're just about to have an open house 